Good afternoon and welcome to Coffee in a Card. Happy Wednesday. Yes, that's right. We're here a day late um, after getting dug out of Snowmageddon <laughs> here in Iowa. Um, we just had so much snow yesterday, I could not make it to my studio. So it was about midnight last night when the snow removal people came and cleared my driveway so I could actually get my car out. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's why we weren't here yesterday. I did not realize it would take quite so long to get all of the snow cleared, <laughs> and so I didn't go home prepared the day before. So here we are on a Wednesday for coffee and a card. So I come to you each week with um, some happy mail and also a project to show you using some fun Stampin' Up! products. So today I'll be showing a new stamp set that I just opened to create this design, so I'm looking forward to that. But first, I am gonna show you some happy mail. So welcome to those of you who are coming in. Hi Holly, hi Patricia, Kathy, Karen, welcome you guys. Um, so we are, what, one week in to a new catalog? Actually, not quite a week, I guess. Um, and I hope you're loving it. So I don't know what you've ordered or what you've got your eye on still to order, but there's just a lot of beautiful products in this new catalog. So if you're looking for samples and because you're not quite sure what paper or ribbon or embellishments you want to purchase, you can always get product shares. So all of these, this stack over here, wait, 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 there we go. I got to point to the right spot. This is all product shares. So I have a lot of paper cutting and sorting and packaging to do to get your product shares out in the mail, but it's not too late to get them. So feel free to click over to my website and order those today if you'd like. Okay, I'm going to start with some happy mail and we'll do one here. So I call happy mail the cards that y'all send to me because it makes me happy. Uh, one, to receive a card. But number two, it makes me happy to show off your creativity. So that's what we're doing here today. And this first one, if I can get this envelope open. Let's see here. Ah. Okay, this first one is from Carolyn Jackson in Ohio. And let me just move her note. Here we go. Using that doggone friendly, I think it's called. Um, it's a background stamp that you can use. Isn't that so cute? Look at those. Look at all those puppies. So, so cute. That is really pretty. And then it says happy birthday. Next, we've got one from Meredith Booker in Georgia. And it says, hello, winter. Yes, I do feel that as I look out the window. <laughs> this is our first snowfall of the winter, so it finally feels like winter here. Um, so using the, um, oh, I can't remember the name of this paper, but it was a really pretty scenery paper. Okay, last but not least, I've got one that doesn't have a name on it. Somebody from Tennessee. Let's see if there's a name in the inside. Sandy Scott. So it says, wishing you all the best. You can see that shimmer there. Um, oh, look at that. It's my first birthday card. <laughs> it's my birthday month. So that's really fun. So wishing you all the best. Um, my birthday is not till the end of the month, January 29th, but I know some people mail their cards out early in the month, so that's really fun. Okay, I am going to set this over here, and we're going to move our camera down so that we can make a project. Let's see here. I'm still playing with this new setup. Um, so that we can make use of this glass mat. Okay, so today we are going to look at primarily this one here. Okay, Quiet Reflection. This has some really beautiful uh, sentiments to it. I really, I love these two trees right here. Tree stamps, I guess. But we've got Praying for His Comfort to, oh, I can't read this upside down. Praying for His Comfort to Soften the Sadness and Bring You Peace. God is our refuge and strength, Psalm 46, verse 1. To remember is to give life to those we've loved and lost. 
And the friendship of a pet is one of life's greatest gifts. And then you're on your mind. You're yeah, you're on my mind and sorry for your loss. So just some absolutely lovely sentiments here that I don't know, I just couldn't pass them up. I think it was really the sentiments that sold me on this set. Sorry, I gotta move that a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, it was really the sentiments that sold me on that set. And then I'm just gonna pair it here with this background, um, background stamp right there from Notes of Nature. Okay. So let's look at where we are heading. And this is where we're heading. So you kind of get an idea of the end result. So using Pretty Peacock and Knight of Navy for our colors today. And then we're also going to be using Very Vanilla. Now Very Vanilla is not a color that I use very often. But I just thought it looked... It's not that I'm I'm not anti very vanilla. I just don't think about I think of it. I immediately gravitate to using basic white. So, but today very vanilla. Okay, so let's start with our card base, and we'll grab our trimmer here. So our card base in very vanilla measures five and a half by eight and a half, and we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. go um and then I have a piece of pretty peacock I grabbed this out of my um scrap of cardstock mats and it's four by five and a quarter so four by five and a quarter my knight of navy um I just picked up a, a scrap piece of paper here we're going to cut two different things from the knight of navy so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a three quarter inch strip so three quarter inches. I would say your length is not as important, but I would say have it be at least four inches, okay? So let's say that's three quarters by four. And then for the rest of this, I'm gonna cut it down to three and a half. Let's see here, three and a half by two and seven eighths. So three and a half by two and seven eighths. Okay, so we got that piece. And then with a very vanilla scrap, we're gonna cut a piece, uh, a five eighth inch piece. Let's see, I'm gonna keep that at the four inches. So five eighths, five eighths by four. Um, let's see, I lost track of where I was at, there we go. Okay, so we've got our card base here. Actually, before I bring too many pieces into play, I'm actually going to take this pretty peacock and we are going to emboss it. And I'm going to use the embossing folder found in the celebration called Softly Sophisticated 3D Embossing Folder. So we'll take our cut an emboss machine and I'll put my paper in here and I like to line it up on the black line that's down here at the bottom that way I know my design is going to be straight so we'll just stick that through the machine Take out the middle part. And here we have our embossed paper with that really pretty design there. And I'm going to take that and set it here on my glass mat. And we're going to use Night of Navy ink. And that background stamp that I mentioned to you from Notes of Nature. So I'm gonna just ink that up right there. And we're just gonna add some grid lines, I guess you can kind of call them, 
across here. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. And I'm going to turn this around so I can get, um, I'm just going to do that and this one. Okay. So we just have some kind of random grid lines and the rest of your pieces are going to tie this together. So you don't have to have straight, perfect lines here for the background. Okay. So I'll set that aside for a moment and we will grab a tag. Now I have already cut this out of the nested essentials dies, which is the set here. So a lot of great stitched dies and I'm just using this largest flag tag, banner tag. All right, we will take our tree and reflection stamp. And I love the way this has already added the shading and the texture for me. So I'm just gonna stick it on my banner piece. There we go. Now, I've got some ink on my mat, so I love this little cloth that comes with the glass mat because I can just clean it off really quick. Okay, so we've got our tag right there. And then I'm also going to stamp my sentiment. So first we have our very vanilla 5 8 inch strip. And I'm going to use the praying for his comfort to soften the sadness and bring you peace. Just a beautiful sentiment for a sympathy card. So we've got that one. And then inside of our card base, we are going to stamp, sorry for your loss. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and close our card front, or card base, I mean, and just crease down that fold here. We'll start with our embossed Pretty Peacock. And I'll put tape around all four sides just so that my 3D embossed piece will stay nice and flat. Oh. There we go. And then we will take our Knight of Navy that we cut out and our banner, and we're gonna adhere those together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of the new um, Pretty Peacock in gold metallic ribbon. And let's find the end of it here, there we go. So I'm going to be putting it right across the middle, across that reflection there. And I'm just going to be adhering it on the back side. So I just need a strip that'll fit on the middle and then fold around the back so that I can adhere it. There we go. Okay, so now I will take some dimensionals and we'll dimensionalize this piece. Put a couple on each end of the ribbon. That's just extra security for my peace of mind to make sure that that ribbon does not come out of on my card because we're gonna be messing with that piece of ribbon here in just a moment. All right, so I'm gonna put this up here towards the top, but also off center. There we go. Now I'm gonna take another piece of uh, ribbon, just long enough so that you can tie a knot in it. And I'm actually doing this a little bit different I don't even know if this is gonna look like what I want it to look like. I tied a bow on my sample, but I thought we'd try another option for your card. And that is to have this nice flat knot right here. So we're gonna cut that at an angle 
and cut this one here. There we go. Um, oh, I like the way that looks. Okay. So now I can move this wherever I want it to be. And if I don't like where that end is going, which I kind of don't, we're just going to take a glue dot. I'm going to carefully peel that glue dot off of here. I'm going to stick it underneath the ribbon. And we're going to put that ribbon end right where I want it to stay. Just like that. Okay, because the other one is staying where I want it to. But now we're going to make this one stay. Okay. So let's take our sentiment piece and let's cut an angle on each end. And I'm just going to do this with my snips. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here on the other end. So that we have an angle cut on each side of the sentiment. We'll take that piece and we will adhere it to our Knight of Navy. So I'm just going to stick this on here. There we go. And then we'll take our Knight of Navy and same thing. I will do an angle cut to match the very vanilla. There we go. Oh, let's drop that piece somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna be sticking this down here. Now what I can tell is that I wanna have a dimensional here and then I want a dimensional down on this lower corner. So I just wanna keep that in mind as I put my dimensionals on. I try not to double up on my dimensionals like two piles very often because it can cost extra to, to ship when you do that. All right, so there we go. And then last but not least, oh dear, oh no, good, here we go. These are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foiled Gems. They are by far and away my favorite new embellishment. Um, I've already gone through multiple packs um, of this embellishment because I love the gold flecks that are on these gems. So we're just going to take a couple of small ones and I'm going to put them on each side of the sentiment piece. Just like that. And there we go. We have our, uh, what is this called? Quiet Reflection. <laughs> I was trying to remember what the stamps that was called. Quiet Reflection um, card. Sorry for your loss. So I'll bring back the sample here because sometimes I like to mix it up between the sample and the one that I make here. So on the sample, you'll see that I tied a bow instead of just doing the knot. I think it works both ways, but just a, a fun card for you. Now keep in mind what I always love to say when I make cards like this is don't get stuck on the fact that this is a sympathy card. You could easily use the same layout for any occasion that you might need it for. So just switch up your words. This stamp set is great for any occasion really. I think it'd make great masculine cards. Um, but you can always switch things out. It doesn't have to be a specifically sympathy layout. So hopefully that helps give you an idea for your card making. Um, I'd love to see your version. If you end up making a version um, of this card, oh, of this card, <laughs> be sure to post it over in the community group so we can see how, how you make it, what your interpretation is of this card. So, well, thanks for tuning in for this special Wednesday edition um, of Coffee and a Card. <laughs> it's like, wait, what are we doing right now? Um, thanks for tuning in today. And don't forget to encourage one another and build each other up. I'll see you soon.